place is so nice. I see Marcus Smith uh, downstairs and obviously thanked him for, uh, um, you know, investing in, in the, into our series. It's, uh, this is quite a major investment and we're, we're really proud to, uh, proud that they thought that much of our sport to, to invest this kind of money. I, I think it's, uh, I think it's great and, and uh, I'm wishing that he would buy some more of our racetracks. <laughs> you know, gosh, it's nice, but uh, a uh, good run for uh, for our team. You know, obviously we, you know, coming into a racetrack that we have absolutely no uh, experience with, we watched a few cars run and, and put a, you know, a moderate baseline tune-up in it, see what it'd do, and it and it held, and, and that got us third, uh, third quick out of the first session. So that put us at the back of the pack. Got to see what some of the cars did and track temperature and how they were going and. Uh, um, made some adjustments. They were looking for, uh, you know, a mid 380 and a 384. So uh, it was uh, um, a good run for, you know, Donnie and Todd and everybody on the U.S. smokeless car. Obviously, you had a great regular season, finished uh, high in the final regular season points. What's your strategy coming into the countdown to one? <laughs> there is the, the strategy is the same as it was last week. You know, you try to win the event. And if you don't win the event, you try to, you know, not to steal a line from NASCAR, but get a top five out of the deal. You go into every race wanting to win. That's you know I don't I don't have any runner-up trophies or anything like that. You know we, we go for the we go for the wins, and uh, I think everybody here wants to be able to uh, to win the first event at, at uh, Charlotte here. So it's uh, um, I'm so far so good. You know uh, I think uh, you know whether we start first, second, fourth. You know, somewhere in there, just as long as we, you know, we're in the top three or four every session, that means that uh, Donnie and the guys are making good adjustments uh, for the different weather conditions during the qualifying. You go to race day and, you know, leave it all on the table. We'll open it up to questions from the media for Larry. Crickets. <laughs> uh, David Poole's got a question. You talked about the, the conditions. Was, was it a long situation where it was getting dramatically better as the later it got, or just incrementally better? I mean, was it just getting a little bit better as, as you got later? Well, well I, I think especially with it being the first day that you have fuel cars run on it, you can run other cars on the racetrack, and they'll put a little bit of rubber down on the first couple hundred feet, but down racetrack you need cars with a lot of power uh, to be able to put it down. It. And without, uh, uh, so you need rubber on the track, so that helped in the first session. But also, because of the, the sun going down, the track tightens up a lot, and, and it just you just got a lot more, the rubber's got more grip, so that helps. So twofold, I mean, it, it really, uh, you know, normally the track just cools down, the rubber gets tight and goes, but now we got more rubber on the track, and it's tight condition, so that allowed for some good numbers. That's the, the strategy for tomorrow, just see what the track will give, like, during race condition. Yeah, I, I think tomorrow will because we're quali we will stay qualified with that run. Um, that you just work on your race day setups and and uh, really just try to um, it allows you uh, it allows you the opportunity to be able to go out there and fire a shot or just work on some things you might not normally do on race day and, and it, it's kind of a free day for us to just work on uh, setups and, and come back on Sunday. So hopefully, uh, um, you know, we're here Sunday night talking to y'all.